the tea garden and I just wanted to share some stories that I got at the Thompson Public Library. So all I did was I called the library and I asked for some children's books about gardening and they gave me a huge bundle. So I have a few here that talk about different tips about gardening and then I have some just stories to read. So the first one that they gave me was Dig, Plant, Grow which has a bunch of tips and pictures about gardening. I have Kids First Book in Gardening. I have the Victory Garden Kids Book. Uh, I have Ready, Set, Grow. I have Mortner's First Garden. And I have Rosie Sprout's Time to Shine. So looking through all these stories, I think I'm gonna read Rosie Sprout's Time to Shine. I think this is a cute little kids book. Violet was the best, everyone agreed. She ran the fastest in gym class. She sang the highest in chorus practice. She was the loudest storyteller at lunchtime and she looked the fanciest on picture day. Violet was definitely the best and everyone agreed except Rosie. Rosie was not a fast runner. She could not sing very high. She was not the loudest storyteller. And she did not get very fancy for picture day. But Rosie was tired of hearing about Violet being the best. One morning, Miss Willis told the class they would each grow their own pea plants in little pots on the windowsill in the back of the classroom. Everyone was excited. Violet was the most excited. Her plant would definitely be the tallest. She was the best after all. For homework, the students had to decorate their pots. Plants like nice places to grow, Miss Willis said. Violet's pot was the sparkliest. Rosie's wasn't, but it still seemed like a nice place to grow. See, I even, I even put sparkles on the inside. As Miss Willis helped the students put soil into their pots, she asked, what do seeds need to become healthy plants? Miss Willis was impressed. What good gardeners you all are. Each kid answered. One said air, soil, water, and sunlight. Rosie made a hole in the soil with her finger, dropped in a little seed and carefully covered it up. Days went by and everyone waited. They watered their pots, but nothing happened. Even violets isn't growing. Well, when it does, it'll probably be the best. Yeah, probably. Peas are gross anyway. We should have planted watermelons or something. My sister's into kumquats. Then one afternoon, Rosie noticed a green dot poking through her soil. There was a tip of green in Violet's pot too. Rosie couldn't wait to show Miss Willis, but Violet, who was the fastest, yelled, Mine is the first to grow! Hooray! The next morning, Rosie got to school early to check on her plant. She was very proud of it, but Violet's was a little bigger than hers. It figures, Rosie thought. She looked over her shoulder. No one was there yet except Miss Willis, who was writing vocabulary words on the chalkboard. Quickly, Rosie pushed the soil on top of Violet's plant. There, she thought, now my plant is the best. She slid into her seat. Rosie felt like the best for a few seconds. Then she started to feel a little guilty. But the bell rang and she knew it was too late to fix things. When everyone was seated, Rosie noticed that Violet wasn't there. Good morning, class. I wanted to let you know that Violet won't be in school for a few days. She has the chicken pox. Rosie sat down in her chair. She'd started out feeling bad for Violet's plant. Now she was feeling a little bad for Violet too. Just a little. She knew what she had to do. For the next two weeks, Rosie came to school early and took care of two plants. She gently took up the soil she'd push on top of Violet's little sprout. She watered her plant and she also watered Violet's. She sang quite, quite little songs about growing to her plant and then she sang to Violet's. She made sure they were both in the bright sunlight. Miss Willis was very pleased. I believe you're the best gardener I've ever had, Rosie. Yes. Definitely the best, Rosie said. When Violet finally 
finally returned to school, everyone crowded around to hear about her chicken pox. And then Rosie is saying, I ate mint chocolate chip ice cream and watched TV for days and days. And my mom bought me a new shirt and a new bracelet and three new pencils with blue erasers. My doctor told me I had the worst case of chicken pox he'd ever seen. It wasn't long before Violet remembered about her pea plant. When she skipped to the back of the classroom, everyone followed. My plant is the tallest! Hooray! Violet exclaimed happily. Then she noticed the one next to hers. Whose is that? That's Rosie's. She's been taking such good care of both plants, Miss Willis told the class. Everyone agreed Violet's and Rosie's plants were the tallest. Thanks, Rosie, Violet said very quietly. Well, she said much louder as everyone returned to their seats. Mine's still the sparkliest. Miss Willis looked at Rosie. Rosie looked at Miss Willis and they smiled. The end. Thanks everyone for joining me for a story. I would just like to remind everyone that next Thursday, July 2nd from 10 to 2, we, are, we will be having a garden party. We will be giving tours of the garden. We'll have snacks, take home activities, and we hope to see you all there.